Good morning. Today we're going boating. That's right, day 928. Holy crap. <laughs> so you see that boat over there? I've already got loaded up with all, basically all the ores and metals and shit that I had here. Uh, at the bell, have the door open, damn it. Every time. Basically, it's loaded with like a whole bunch of stuff to start a base. Um, I still have my mind, even though, even though, you know, I'm kind of like, eh, hey, you know, I've got, I've got my fill of Valheim. I still have this urge to try to build something in the plains. And here's all the stuff I'm taking with me. Some of the stuff I can take to the portal, sure. But I figured just load it up on a boat and just do like one big long boat adventure. And then I'll have all this stuh over there ready to go. Uh, I also have my mode air buff. So that way, uh, if the wind sucks, we could always just make it work for us for five solid minutes. And we're also taking a carve, which is the fastest boat in the game, tier three boat. So we should be able to make it there pretty damn quickly, I think. I think. I haven't have I made the trip directly from here? I don't think I made the trip directly from here, so so yeah, we'll see. But um I had to borrow a piece of iron from Nex to uh to finish my uh wait no no. No I sorry, I went over there to borrow a piece of iron, then I came back and found another stash of 30 iron that I had like stuck just stuffed away somewhere. Um in order to make the iron nails that I need in order to actually uh to, to build this boat. But let me see where we're at. So, God, my map is so cluttered. So we're going to go around here. And like I said, we should make pretty good time. We're going to make it down here. I don't know what's here. Uh, maybe this is one big chunk of land. I'm not sure. So we may have to, like, go straight and just see what what's there. Um, sometimes I wish I never finished, fixed my map. <laughs> but previously when I could see everything, I was just like a GPS. I was just like, turn right here. Like, I knew exactly where we were going all the time. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone else on the boat when we were like doing these adventures and everything, they're just like, how do you know where we're at? Oh, that's where you can see the whole map. Dang it. Uh, but I'm not that guy anymore. I've moved on. Let me use sausage real quick. <sighs> yeah, so I did some work since the last episode. Um, I dug out a really nice little canal and kind of a uh, uh, an area big enough to turn a boat. Now, not necessarily for a tier three boat, it's big enough for the tier 2 boats. I haven't tested it yet, but it should be big enough for a tier 2 boat. Um, and it goes right... It, it basically extended an existing canal um, on the... Uh, basically on the east side of the island. So we landed... Where we landed was over here, right? We came down from this side we landed over here. Um, and there is a little canal right here that goes down this way. And there's this one right here. It kind of a little bit here, a little bit here. Just checking. Um, and I actually went ahead and just dug it out really, really well and extended it through it like there was a hill or something right here. So I extended through that so it goes right through here. And I took this little area right here and I opened it up to make it a kind of a little pond. Now, um, I put crafting benches all over the place thinking like, you know, maybe if I put crafting benches everywhere it'll stop things from spawning like mad. Um, I don't know how effective that's going to be. I'm, I'm thinking, you know, I, I don't know. I don't really know what I'm going to build. You know, I just want to do this. I just want to move stuff over there. I have a ton of stone because there was a... If you guys remember, there was a... When we were obliterating those that goblin camp, there was a, a big-ass rock that I think I climbed up on top of to get a good vantage point. Well, that rock gave me, like, 500 stone. I beat it up, and I got, like, 500 stone out of it. On top of the stone that I got from... Uh, from, from cutting out the canal. So, I'm hoping that that's going to be enough to at least start building, like, a good stone... Uh, elevated structure of some sort, maybe? Uh, or maybe just, like, a wall or something? I don't know. Like, yeah, I think a wall would be relatively sufficient. Um, just to, just to start, for starters. Uh, and from there, we could just kind of expand and figure out, like, what we're gonna do. Um, I'm thinking definitely, like, like, the Venetian Hotel. You know, in Vegas, there's, like, there's that little canal. It's very, it's Venice themed, of course. Um, there's a canal you go in, it's it's lowered down, and there's like this, the walls on either side, and there's people who go look down inside and see you with the guy who's singing, it's all romantic, and they take a picture, and it costs like $100. Uh, but I'm thinking of building something like that along the side, just kind of put like, some walls uh, along the side to keep things from, you know, crossing over and getting in, and then I can line it with spikes or some shit, I don't know. I just don't know if, this, if, if the spawns are going to be too much. I'm sure if I ask somebody in Discord, they'd probably tell me, you know... Like, yeah, dude, it's impossible because there's all these spawns or something like that. But I don't want to know. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is a part of the game that I have yet to actually... Oh, I saw that. Uh, that I have yet to actually fully explore. Is going out and just trying to build a plane... A, a house in the plains. A little house on the prairie. Where is he at? 
And hey, we're booking, so like, you know, if if we manage to see him, we're gonna be gone, so whatever. At least he's got like a billion health, so I'm not worried about losing anything. Yeah, he's already gone. That's right, son. Now let's see. Yeah, we're gonna shoot the gap here, and then we're gonna go straight this way and just see what's here. I mean, there's a plot here, there's a plot here, a couple plots here. I don't know how I got that stuff on my map. Whoa. Weird. Um, let me turn it a little bit. Don't want to lose all that wind, but we gotta kind of ride this a little. Yeah, a little bit more. We can always turn into it. Uh, oh, is, is it adjusting? Oh yeah, it's adjusting. So what's it gonna do? Oh, Lord, Lord, Lord. Let's go to the other side. Come on, give it to me, give it to me. Oh, that's really gonna do that. I don't want to blow my buff right now because I think I might need it when we get to that island. Assuming there is an island there. This is still good though. This is so good. There we go. Yeah, we're gonna just barely shoot this gap. And then we'll see if the wind shifts on the other side of this opening here. So, how have you guys been? Hope you guys enjoyed that video. Put together with the, uh, the triple planes bosses because it was a lot of fun to do, obviously. And then, of course, it was actually a lot of fun to edit. Like, a lot of fun to edit. Um, there was just so much chaos, and I, it was a 26 million, 26 minutes, 26 minutes, uh, video initially that I, um, ended up trimming down a little bit further and brought it down to, uh, about 19 minutes or so. Like, I mean, it, it, there's just so much stuff going on that my first pass was so long, and I was just like, oh man, I would love to keep this whole thing, but 19 minutes is already really pushing it. 25 minutes is just too long. I can't tell you the last time I watched a 25 minute video, so I don't expect anybody else to. Well, unless you're watching my videos. <laughs> I just have the attention span of a fucking squirrel. What is that? Oh, is that a deer? I thought it was a teleporter right on the rock, right where my cursor's at right there. Oh, it's up there. It's... The troll. And a whole bunch of dwarves. Oh, there's a workbench there. There was a workbench there. <laughs> they just nuked it. I wonder if that was if somebody put that there as a means to like repair as they as they drift by. That's pretty funny, and we just ruined it for them. Kinda love this game. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Let's see if those winds shift. So I'm rowing. I'm rowing the biggest boat in the game. Come on. I can't. Viking ship. Come on, baby. Let me see that wind. Switch it up. I don't want to blow this buff so early. You know what? We're going to blow it. Let's get it. I'm not waiting. Lower this. Watch the winds whip around. There it is. And then we zoom. I think five minutes will actually get us probably there. <laughs> Honestly, I think it might actually get us there. Okay, let's not hit anything. Woo! Such a useful buff. Somebody else's house there. Do I have that on the map? I don't. There's something here. Let's mark it for now. Little question marks. Okay. Whoops. I got a new keyboard, so <laughs> I don't know where anything's at. Everything feels so different. Wolvi, uh, he's like uh, probably the one of the greatest saviors of the BFF community. Um, ended up he he he, uh, he spent probably a good year. It feels like putting together this this keyboard. Not like you know. In a, in a row, like he spent every day working on it, but you know, he was touching base with me. Like, what kind of keys do you want? And I ended up having to, like, kind of, he, he gave me a little kind of a crash course in different kind of keys and, and all this. And I can't even tell you what's in it. Like, all I know is that when I when I hit the keys, it feels amazing and it does not make a loud, loud ass, like, clack, 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 clack sound. The, like, you know, the typical, 
typical of like mechanical keyboards, you know? There's a picture of it on my Twitter, fairly recent, where I'm kind of showing off. Wow, I'm nose dive that. Showing off my um, uh, my my basically basically complete gaming slash editing station setup. I'm quite proud of it too. The gas struts for the monitors is a true, true, true lifesaver. Uh, just being able to, I, I had like these old, old monitor stands that uh, were just like, I mean, you know, if you see them, you're like, oh yeah, like a four monitor designed for like four, like six, like a, a four by three monitors kind of stands, you know, like a quad setup. Um, it was something like that. And then another, and then that wasn't even big enough to hold the ultra wide and another monitor next to it. So I had to use that big ass thing. And then next to it, I had another stand. Okay, there, yeah, we're getting kind of close to, to land here, so we be careful. So I had another stand for another monitor, the monitor that I game on when I'm streaming and whatnot. Okay, let's see. Let's go around to the left here. We're gonna whip it good. I don't think there's a cut through there at all. No way. Shoot that gap. Oh, no, 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 no. That's a lot of rocks. Only two minutes left on the buff. Wow, I was really optimistic about that whole we're going to get there in one shot, huh? <laughs> I was crazy optimistic. The ocean's big, man. What can I say? It's hard to, hard to judge sometimes. <laughs> God, this storm is just crazy. I hope, I hope to God when this buff wears off that we just happen to have good wind. Uh, well, I guess if we don't have good wind, we'll get it around the other side. This is going to be a journey. Anyways, yeah, so gas struts and what it lets me do is it lets me just like just grab the monitor and just lift it, move it, like adjust it, like lifts or push in or whatever. Look at this guy. Um, to whatever position I want. Was there two of them there? No, it's just the one. Yeah, dude, okay. Uh, and just the fact that I can move it by hand, it, it just makes it so much, so much easier, or just so much, so flexible to be able to adjust it between stacking them so I can have the ultra wide directly in front of me, which is amazing for editing video because you need all that space for the different, you know, pro program monitors and everything so you can see what video you're editing and have a timeline laid out in front of you and the audio mixers and all that stuff like there's a lot of stuff that you have active that you're using you switch it between when you're editing um and so the ultra wide just makes sense but before when the ultra wide is was all, all the way to the right because the gaming setup was kind of a little bit more center which if you look at the pictures you'll see what i'm talking about the gaming setup kind of pushes the ultra wide off to the side um uh oh this might be this might be wonky here um so with that, uh, you know, with that setup, it makes it just difficult to edit because, you know, the stuff is so far off to the right, it's very uncomfortable. So what do I do? I just basically yoink, yoink, and put it in place, and I put the other monitor up and over and on top of it, and it's just amazing. Like, I highly recommend, highly, highly, highly re In that thread, actually, somebody else asked if I had a link to the one, and if you, if you like what I'm describing to you, then yeah, like, scroll down to, in the replies to that tweet, and you'll see, um... You'll see that, uh, that, that link. But yeah, it's just like, it's my fate. I want everything to have a gas strut now. <laughs> I want everything to have like an arm that I can just like grab and just throw around. P.S. We have good wind still. But, uh, if it stays in this direction, it's not going to be good when we turn that corner. So when we get back to rowing, we're going to roll right past the BFF aisle. Should go in there and see if there's any resources I could nab. <laughs> I don't think I need anything from there. But yeah, I just love the setup. The setup super good. Got an awesome keyboard from Woovy. Crap, it goes the wind. Uh, I got uh, this really amazing custom 3D printed stand for my uh, for my Go XLR and my two stream decks that I have, one for each PC. And uh, and it makes them sit flush. And I have like a little stand for my phone too. That I put there whenever I'm streaming. That way, it's just like, available. Uh, but yeah, it's kind of cool. It's kind of cool to finally have like, you know, a put together station and of course Sunday, like I can't forget, you know, Sunday's there. 
<laughs> She's always there. Oh, you know, when I turn this corner, though, I'm going to have wind fully at my back. Okay, there's a there's an island or something coming up here. Gotta be careful. Yeah, there's an island coming up. You don't feel rested anymore. Have I been out for like eight minutes? I guess what, 13 minutes or whatever that buff was? That was a good long buff. Maybe. Okay, we're gonna try to, what do I guess, kind of thread the needle here. I don't feel like it should be too difficult, but the, the rain is definitely not helping the waves. Okay, and also that's not helping, whatever that was. This is one doe just sitting on this little hill. It's all yours. Hey, we're coming around. Oh, we're just gonna zoom. If we should try to cut through here. There's, there's plenty of areas cut right through here. It might be taking a risk. Let's see what the wind says. But I mean, like a beeline. Yeah, there's already a path right there, actually. So yeah, we totally could. And just beeline it straight to it. Okay, here we go. Crank it. Put it down. You're winning them sails. Head this direction for a minute, and then we'll turn it. Oh yeah, we're good. It's a beautiful night to go fishing. P.S. This is like what the waves are like almost all the time towards the edge of the world. I swear, it's just non-stop, just crazy, and I think it's obviously just trying to, like, it's it's programmed in to tell you not to not to go any further. I'm not sure if I mentioned this, but yeah, it's almost like the game is just trying to tell you, no, 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 no. <laughs> you gotta go back, son. You can't go back this way. Oh, look at this, beautiful, calm waters, and then hopefully we can just beeline it straight there, and we are golden. Now when I get there, I think what I'll do is I'll build an iron, uh, a stone cutter first. Um, just so I can build a quick stone structure, like something, like a shack, basically. Um, or, there's already an existing stone structure that, oh, that's all on the other side of the base, though. Hmm, that's pretty far. Nah, nah, we'll build on the, on, on, on the side that we're working on. Yeah, it's because we landed on the west side, of west bank. Uh, all that tower and all that stuff is still over there. Uh, so... I'm gonna have to eventually probably knock it down just to get all that stone. Cause that's a lot of stone that we just use. And then wheelbarrow it over to the other side. I brought my wheelbarrow parts in there as well. Like my cart. Essentials, man. We need them. Oh, hmm. Oh, yeah, we're good right here. It's like a tiny little meadows outreach here. It's kind of cool. I'm surprised we have not seen the turtle. Usually we get at least one or two sightings. This is a nice little island if you want to just, like, put your house on an island and get... Get it wet every once in a while from the tide. I'm sure those stormy tides would definitely, absolutely, crest over the entire island. Okay, we're kind of starting to lose some wind here. Let's see where we're at. Let's ride this as far as we can on the very edge of the wind here. And then we'll turn in. And we should be good. Oh, there's a rune right there. Probably has a poem on it. it. Doesn't apply to us, I'm sure. Let's see. It's starting to get dark. Sun's going down, big fella. Hi, Sunday. Are you here to remind me that I closed the door? Can't have that door closed when a cat's around. Mm -mm. And then you open it, she doesn't go out. That's the way it works. No, 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 no. Get your butt back. No, 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 no. You don't walk on this desk. You know better. 
she just like tries to like just tromp across the desk. Well, I'm gonna sit in front of you then, bitch. Nope. Her tail's like wagging, like not wagging, but kind of whipping back and forth. Which, if you're not a cat owner, that means that she is mad. <laughs> she is upset because daddy won't open the door and daddy won't let her sit on the keyboard. <laughs> on the brand new keyboard. Uh huh. Okay, there might be an island right here. We'll keep an eye out. Yeah, there is. Okay. Well, maybe we'll get a try to get kind of close to that. Wow, the waves definitely made me feel like I was going a hell of a lot faster even when I was rowing. <laughs> My god, I really said that I'd be there in five minutes, didn't I? Let's get close, that way we can at least kind of get this flag on the map, because I have no... nothing to show there. Mmm, oh, you know what? I might lose my wind if I'm not careful. Yeah, this is a good angle. Like, we'll just keep going straight. Oh, that's interesting. What, are the trees about to pop up on that? Black forest. There should definitely be trees popping up on that. There they are. There's that mist. The black forest mist. Okay, yeah, this is good. See, we're gonna come down like here. And then if we run out of wind or if whatever, we're basically we get done by here, we can turn it this way and get some good, 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 good wind on our side. Unless it turns, of course, you know. Nice. Let's see. We're getting, we're not getting there. We're gonna catch the tail end of this here. Well, maybe not actually. Yeah, there you go. Good, so at least I'll be able to see if there is something there if I'm looking at the map again and I forget. But the game is pretty good about not having too many like crazy wide open spaces, but you see like right here, like this pocket right here, it's misleading because you know, every other area is just kind of like land, land, land with tiny little strips in between them. And then you have like huge like pack, park, uh, 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 pockets like this uh, uh, right here. I think there's one up here somewhere too. Yeah. Oh, the wind- oh, the wind has shifted in our favor. Very much so. Let's turn it. Let's turn it right this out. I think right out there, maybe? This poor guy. Oh, he's actually- oh, he's coming. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, you want- you want this? I'm just gonna smoke this dude, like, immediately. Yeah, no trophy, no trophy. I'm not even gonna stop. Ain't even gonna stop. <laughs> I don't stop unless there's a trophy. No, uh, uh. The trophies are beautiful. The serpent trophies are the best trophies in the game. Oh, okay. I guess we get another go here then. Cool. I'm cool with that. Wood arrows, by the way. <laughs> Almost there. Okay, he's coming. Oh, oh. Don't go anywhere. Hold on, let's slow down, let's slow down, because I kinda kinda wanna know if I'm gonna get a, a thing. I have my harpoon, but I can't I, I have nowhere to pull him. Come on. Yeah, there he is, there he is. He's coming. Yeah, the problem with the harpoon is I have, I have nowhere to put him. Pull him so far away from everything. Is that land up there? Oh no. Great. Let's see what our friend here says. It's so dark. I don't even know if you guys can see. Do I have my light? Ooh, this is a scary view. Alright, let's row that way. There is straight up land right here. Holy crap. That is planes also. Okay. 
Well, let's turn it. I can't take a, a hit from, um... Oh, I'm gonna turn kind of against the wind here. I see that there's a route around this way, but it looks like this way goes like all the way around. See that? Yeah, I can't take a hit from Mosquito right now with this health. Hold on, let me, uh... Let me just hop off here. There we go. Yeah, see those guys over there? Yeah, they need business. Oh, and their land comes all the way out here too. Gotta be careful. Alright, so that's probably why the uh, Serpent didn't necessarily pursue. I was getting too close to land. Like, really close! Whoa! Don't beach! Don't beach! Don't beach! It's a terrible spot to beach! Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, oh, we got turret again. Gabo's over there. I try to keep that wind just, just at the tips of the sails there. A big chunk of land I didn't know existed. I'll call it America. <laughs> oh shit, don't you dare. <laughs> oh dude. Oh dude, this is super low. Okay, we're gonna turn this around. Like this. Because this is definitely a big chunk of land here. My buff comes up in two minutes. Or we'll just bolt. Mobs are spawning in over there. Just dropping in. Okay, so this is like this probably goes around here. So that's probably what this other. I didn't do this path here. That was someone else must have done that, or maybe I did. I don't remember. Okay, here we go. We got wind. The wind is shifting. Looks like. Yep. Give it to me, baby. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> God, I'm sorry. You know, though, speaking of, I did go through and listen to uh, Offspring's first two albums, um, like, recently. And, like, man. Oh, is that someone's house? That's someone's house. That's a house. Uh-oh, and so they're beating it up over there, too. I wonder if that's Nexus' place. He said he had a place over here somewhere in the plains. I thought it was down here. Somewhere. Oh yeah, never mind. This is right here. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. I see land coming up. Oh no, never mind. Anyways, yes, I went through and listened to. Uh, um, so the song was uh, uh, a pretty fly for a white guy that I just like sang. If you if you don't know, right? From this boomer ass band called <laughs> called the Offspring. <laughs> Which honestly, I've seen my demographics. You guys know who the fuck I'm talking about. Um, I went back and listened to Smash and uh, Ixnay and the Ombre. I listened to Smash because Smash was like, you know, it's not the, it wasn't the first album. Oh, hey, what's up, Odin? Um, it wasn't the first album, but it was definitely the most popular album, well, like, their breakout album. Uh, and there's just so many good songs. I forgot, like, how many good songs they had on that album. And then I thought, for sure, I was like, okay, Ixnay and the Ombre is when they got corny, right? That's what I was thinking in my head because it's been so long since I've listened to this stuff. Um, and I went and I turned it on and I was just like, I, I listened to x and Ombre and I was just like, oh my god, no, there's a lot of great songs on here too. Like, it's not, it's not, it's it's like, if, if Smash was like 100%, like just offspring going 100%, then I would say that, that uh, x and Ombre was like 95%, you know? Like, there's a handful of songs that maybe didn't necessarily feel like they were too, you know, uh, offspring-y, I guess. What is that? It's a rock? I guess so. Or a log. It's a log. Um, but I mean, I was listening to it. I was just like, God, this is some good shit. Like, it was just, it was just like good energy. Good, like, just like good simple riffs. Like, fast pace. And his voice, Dexter's voice is so good. Um, yeah, it was just, it was, just a, it was a treat. <laughs> I don't listen to, I don't listen to music that I grew up with too often. Um, I typically go through, I, I typically just kind of like surf like whatever random weird shit I could find on like, you know, subreddits or SoundCloud or whatever. Uh, and so, yeah, it's kind of cool every once in a while I'll just kind of like stumble into it. Oh, let me go and listen to all of blank, like some old ass artist or something that I used to listen to growing up. The exception, of course, is like my favorites, like Nine Inch Nails and such. Like Nine Inch Nails, I'll, uh, I'll always just like listen to Nine Inch Nails or Trent Reznor's work just because, you know, I just appreciate him. Um, 
But otherwise, though, yeah, yeah. I think the other one I went through and listened to recently was uh, uh, was Gravity Kills. That was another one that came up because I saw a cover. So we did a cover of Guilty, I think. That was pretty pretty rad. Can't remember it though. There's probably like one cover on on YouTube. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. So I went through those Gravity Kills, and then then that turned into Offspring, and then that was it. I got my, my I got my fix of uh, reliving reliving my youth. <laughs> Okay, now the question is, I see a gobble right over there next to the locks. Day 929, perfect. Oh, that was perfect. Look at that, see? 1-9 Valheim, baby. Do I deliver or what? Or what? Turn this bad boy right in there. Oh, please tell me I got the room for it. Please tell me I got the room for it. Why well, I turned that hella late. This thing does not turn on a dime. No, sir. No, sir. Oh my god. Oh, you know why? I was pushing forward. Yeah. These boats, you have to, like, stop, like, all forward momentum. Like, just, like, go to neutral. Put it in neutral, basically. And then, and then, uh, like, turn. And it'll turn on a dime. So basically like this, and then you can just basically turn it in the direction you want. And it'll just turn so sharp. The tier 2 is still the best, though. Whoops. As you guys have seen. Okay, now it's gonna blow me in that direction, so I got to offset this. There you go, get that got the speed. Now we turn it off, and then we'll whip it around. Whip it. Okay, so not perfect, you know? I wonder if it's actually deep enough. The wind will blow me over. Okay, good. No, 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 no. Oh, it might not be deep enough. <laughs> <laughs> we beached. <laughs> we beached. Let me see. I wonder if I can't. Let me see. Oh my god, if a lock comes over here and beats us up, I'm gonna be so upset. There's this look at this mosquitoes and shit all over the place. This is my bench. I have a crafting bench over there, so you know I'm I'm ready for for building something. Oh, come on, give it to me. Okay, oh yeah, I am beached. Look at this, it's still too tall. Like I said, I built this for a tier 2, not for a tier 3. So I knew I'd be pushing it here. So even if I do get it in, oops, I'll probably run into problems uh, inside as well. Yeah, let me see. I do wonder if I can fix this though. That's all I want to see. I want to see my guy basically swing and then swim. Like that. That means that it's deep enough. It's just hard to get all of those areas just right. Okay, he's it's free, but let me go ahead and open this up a little bit more here. Come on, dude. Okay, where is it beached? Feels like it's free. Right, don't it? Like I said, I gotta be careful because I will get annihilated by... A Deskito. I have a portal here, but still, it's not worth the risk. Okay, now let's crank this up and see if it can blow me out of here. Hmm. It's trying to move. Let me give it a nudge. <laughs> Just try to get. I feel like I'm like I'm watching one of those like dash cam car. Oh snap! I was. Uh, I feel like I'm watching those death cam. Those death cam. Those uh, dash cam videos where they're like it's like snow and people like are digging themselves out of the out of the edge. Wow! That dang. Just, did you like, go through my shield? Whoa! That's a little scary. Anyways, let's see if this is good. Oh, 
Oh lord, it's trying, but nah, it's not happening. Well, I guess this is where we sit. Oh, it's moving! Just in case. She's trying to go! She's trying to go! Don't want to give it too much of a turn there. It's trying! Come on, babe, we could do this. There it is. Okay, okay, wow. Nah, it's still... Yeah, too far, too far. I mean, I'm like, I don't know, it's kind of floating. <laughs> like, above the water. Oh, now the wind's pulling, push, pushing it into it. Yeah, it's not gonna happen now. Well, this is where we park it. <laughs> I am going to uh, probably set up a... Let me see, what do I need? I did say I was gonna build a shack, so here's as good place as any. Already cleared everything out. So let me see, craft, and these locks always spawn here, so I gotta be careful. Um, let me see, what do I need? I need to make a stone cutter wheel, two iron, and some wood. I think I got all that right in here. Yes, sir. Just two of these. Boop, and some wood. Just take all that wood, give me that wood. There we go. And then we'll bust this guy out, and we'll say stone cutter. So yeah, let me see where I'll put this. this nice wide area here. This is probably good right here, I think. Okay, now we're gonna grab some stone. I have some stone on me, a little bit, but not really enough to get started. Do I need to have a workbench also, I wonder? Hmm. Anyways, like I said, we have a lot of wood, so I'm gonna have to kill these locks here in a second. Well, all we're gonna do is just build a shack, and then I'm going to fuck to sleep. <laughs> Done. I was actually hesitant to even make this video. I was like, oh my god, I don't make a video right now. But, but, here's what my thinking. My thinking was, if I don't make a video, no one's gonna believe that I actually boated this shit over here. <laughs> I'm sure you guys would believe me, because you know I wouldn't just lie. But, at the same time, I kind of was like, nah, I gotta do it, man. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, sh I gotta show you the boys and girls that Mike B does it for reals. For reals! Okay, let me see. Let me go ahead and build this up here. Get a couple columns, some mobile columns right here. Ba boom, ba boom. Just kind of extend this out some. Just gonna put something underneath there because that looks weird. Temporary, but still, you know, gotta have style. Is that gonna break? I wonder. No, no, it's not. Okay, well, we're gonna put this under here, anyways. And then that should keep things out temporarily. Uh, we could build like some stake walls or something like that as well, or some spikes or some shit. But uh, right now, we're going to build a couple of. Um, Oh, I need more wood. We should put some thatch and stuff like that too, just to kind of cover this up. Did I make this too small? I think I did. Let me see. I have so much wood. I, I, know, I know I have a ton of stone. I'm just like, oh, I have so much stone. I can build whatever I want. But then I think to like Dominius and other people telling me, it's like, nah, you think you think you have stone. You think you got a lot of stone. And then you start building stuff and you realize, I don't have shit. <laughs> yeah, that's not going to hold. Okay, sure. I understand. Oh, expand just a little bit. Yeah, then you get down to building and it's just kind of like, nah. <laughs> you don't have enough stone. You don't have stone for anything. Okay, here we go. So, now, I, did I, I didn't grab all the wood here. Um, let's grab the rest. That'll give me at least enough to get a, a, one container started. Actually, I'll have enough to build an iron container, I think. Let me see. Furniture. Yeah, fi oh, fine wood and iron? Oh, hell yeah. Let's go build one of these first. Just to give us a place to drop some stuff like these, certain cores, and uh, I mean, I don't necessarily need to drop anything else. And then we're gonna grab the fine wood, which I think that was supposed to be for something else. But I, there's tons so of much birch around, it'll be fine. Oops, and iron too. Oops. Iron. Can I carry all this? Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking. There. I'm building it like this because I just don't want things to sneak around, right? And then I guess I'll just probably put, um... Just dig in, just, uh, barricade this whole thing in here and build a bed and just call it home. <laughs> that's the, that's the plan. Oh, there's a personal chest here which has a million health. Like, seriously, so much health. Okay, we could build a couple of these, looks like. So we'll go one, two... Three. There we go. And then we'll just dump all this shit in here. Let's see, we don't need... Well, we'll keep the stone out. Put the iron. 
Certainly cores, whatever. I'm not worried about organizing. As a matter of fact, we can actually take this out. Or certainly heads, I should say. This is already too many of these, actually. I don't think about it. We'll take that. We'll break this. Okay. Yeah, because we only have what we brought, which is not that much stuff. Yeah, damn it. Keep the stone in there. Let me see. Gotta be careful of my weight. Just wanna get it just right. Perfect. And then oh do 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 do. We'll keep the stone in here for now. That stone in here, I guess, just so we could build another wall and maybe put some stuff on the top. Maybe some ceilings. Mm, you oh gee, really? By how much? Get rid of that, there we go. I brought the guck bombs because I made so many of them and I just don't know what to do with them. So I figured I'd just throw them at things. See what happens. Guck bombs are a lot of fun. You just, again, you just don't use them. I guess we need the fishing rod. Like, I brought the fishing rod thinking that, you know, if something goes awry while we're out, maybe we'll just fish. <laughs> you know, if, like things, if like the whole thing goes, hey, why don't I lose all my stuff? I'll at least have my fishing pole and I'll just do that. That's what we'll do for the rest of the episode. Content, baby. Gotta stay on top of it. Okay, kind of always be prepared. Let's go grab some stone. Oh, actually, let's go and break this thing down. Get all the mats back. Clearly, that's gonna go through here. Uh, but it was a good, it was a good effort. My best, my best axe. There he goes. So the six hits, something like that. It was already a little busted up. Iron nails, all that good shit. Yes. Whoops. But well, now we can see what was what was stuck on. Oh, right here. Oh my god. Let me just beat that up real quick. That was a lot, actually. God, would you your game, would you please clear these doodads? Can't see what I'm working on. Oh bro, that's like oh look at this. No wonder. Jesus. It's just, it's basically land. Like a tree is gonna grow here. No wonder. I mean, it's it's no better in there. So it's just as a no. Tier threes are not gonna happen here. Not for not for a minute, anyways. But yeah, even over here, there's a chunk right here that's popped out. So yeah, this is uh this is gonna be a work in progress for another time. Not for right now, cause I'm sleepy. Cool. Let's see. Let's go and get out. Uh, na, 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 do, 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 do. I don't have any wood to build the. Hmm. Well, I got, I'm gonna build this real quick. Just build this wall. Get that done with. But I don't have wood to build a roof. It's a requirement. What? How am I run out of stone? <laughs> oh, I have. Well, okay, maybe I, have, I can build some roof. <laughs> some roof. Cool. This will at least keep it protected, I think. Um, but I'll just log out here, and this stuff will be here when I get back. Nobody's coming to this island, so I don't necessarily have to worry about losing this stuff, I don't think. Um, the overhead might be a bit of a problem, I guess, for stuff getting in. Can I actually build a... Uh, can I use this to build, like, an arch that goes over everything like that? Does it actually work? I guess it kind of works, huh? Yo, if that works, that works, right? Who's complaining? Our roof is a roof. Let's do that. And we'll put like one slab goes across the top. This is gonna be ugly. <laughs> really ugly. But ain't no one getting in. Oh, I said I could have made that really pretty. Actually, much prettier. Yeah, I could definitely made that prettier. <laughs> so how does this work then? Oh, it doesn't. Cool. I mean, you know, just figured I check. Uh, and then, and then, let me see, we'll put uh, a little hopscotch box here, like a hop out, and then I'll go ahead and put a, uh, let me see, put a bada bing and a bada boom or something, missing requirement, oh god damn, yeah, here, it begins, it begins, out of stone, <laughs> I didn't build anything, wow, Domin Dominius was right, I didn't build shit, and I'm already out of stone, <laughs> Well, I guess we'll find out what happens next time when we try to actually build something. Uh, we're definitely going to take down that tower because that tower is just, I mean, clearly loaded with stone. How much stone do you get in each one of these things? 
Let me see. Each one is six, whatever, six stone. Yeah, it really adds up quickly. Hmm. Yeah. So we will take down that tower. That's going to give us quite a bit of stone. Probably another, let I me mean, just judge by the size of that tower, maybe another hundred stone or so. Uh, just a quick, easy stone. And then uh, I'll probably try to bust some over through the portal uh, from other locations and such. See if any, if there's, if there's any left of the BFF island and all that stuff. So um, that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoy your sleep or the rest of your day, whatever you're doing. And I'm going to see you guys later. Bye.